Hello, I'm back. Um, okay, so first of all, in this session, um, I'd like to say a few things. Uh, so there are some news. Um, as you might have noticed, it's been almost a month, uh, over three weeks since the last session. Um, and it's because there have been, there have been a few things going on. Um, uh, I had a session then I I lost the video for stupid reason because I left the window blocking something for too long and um, yeah there was nothing I could do about that um, so I lost that one and then I had another two sessions that I lost because well the first thing I I changed my webcam because the webcam I, I, I was using before is over 10 years old and I thought well, okay, so let's get a slightly better one because, you know, technology has changed a little bit in 10 years. So I got a better webcam and then um, I thought that my computer was overheating. So I thought maybe it was uh, because, you know, this webcam has better resolution, um, higher frame, frame rate. And I thought maybe that's, I'm doing something wrong and that's, my computer is overheating. Um, but then, you know, because basically I lost the video because I was recording and then um, uh, the hard disk basically stopped working, switch off. Um, and I noticed that the temperature was quite high. So um, I thought, well, there's a problem with temperature. Um, so I was looking at that. I tried to fix it, then I recorded another session. <laughs> And it was not the, it was not the temperature it was basically that hard disk was that it um so yeah i lost that video too uh i was quite lucky because it was almost at the end of the session so i didn't lose uh, um the code that i was writing um but i lost the video so that's why well i lost three sessions um then i was uh sick with a uh, cold or something uh so i didn't record um so anyway so i've been i've still been doing my my priming as always more or less uh although there was a little bit of downtime because i had to you know replace the order a new hard disk replace the disk um uh, I didn't want to clone the disk so I reinstalled my system and I copied the data but you know I had to configure a few things and and recover a few bits that sometimes for whatever reason you don't include in the backup um, so yeah that explains why I didn't uh, record any session for a bit over three weeks um, but yeah I've been working on on few few projects um, it's a shame because I was on a very good strike um, and um, there was a lot of continuity between sessions working on on my Serex Spectrum game uh, Starblind um, and we have lost that obviously because I did few things I did you know it's about uh, there was like three four sessions you know three that we lost and um, another one that I was doing on other things so basically uh, yeah sorry about that um, which means that if you're coming from the previous session uh, you watch it you just watch the previous video it's going to be a little bit of, of a jump um, I did some things but yeah I don't know I, I can continue doing the sessions more or less self-contained um, and I think probably I'm not going to continue doing that, you know, session after session. So although you remember what we did last time, because it means that um, if I want to work on something, uh, it's kind of uh, forcing me to wait until I can record the session. And sometimes I can't do it because, you know, children are, you know, maybe one of my sons is back on the sofa playing with the tablet or, or or playing with the you know construction blocks or stuff like that I'm not going to record the video if they are around anyway so um, I will continue doing the sessions but I think it's going to be slightly different it's not going to be you know after the session it, 
there will be some continuity but it's not going to be uh, like the previous sessions um, instead I will try to make it self-contained so it kind of makes sense what I'm doing on that day um, but I will be doing stuff when I'm not recording and actually um, I think I may jump platform soon because I've been working on um, documenting a library the library I use um, for Nine Night, uh, my first MSX game that by the way is it will be released in five days so it's almost um, ready uh, to go well the game has been finished for almost uh, three months now but we're waiting for some bits related to the uh, physical edition with Polyplay so um, I was working on you know tidying up that the, the libraries I wrote for that game writing some documentation and hopefully I, I will release that as open source so anyone can use it to uh, make MSX games in C although there are already few libraries out there but I think I don't know this is the one I used and it may be useful for someone maybe maybe not anyway um, so I've been working on that and um, be working a little bit also on um, on a kind of secret project that I want to talk about because I'm trying to do something that I don't know I, I think it's possible but I still haven't managed to, to get it working so I don't want to talk too much about that until I know that I can make the game and then also yeah we have another uh, CPC game on the queue that I've been working on it a little bit but I need to work on graphics and I'm not sure but I don't think I'm going to record sessions when I'm doing pixel work because it may not be very interesting to be honest um, so yeah so that's basically update on some news what was going on uh, probably you know it's pretty clear that the static webcam is better because uh, it's not blurry when I'm moving so it has a little bit of more frame rates um, another thing that is quite interesting is because I thought that they had a problem with the temperature of the machine um, I did some uh, bits to reduce the CPU use by OBS when I recorded the session so now this video is being encoded with a hardware encoder uh, with my from the Intel GPU in this computer I mean it's not it's not that amazing uh, GPU uh, is basically integrated, but well, it's definitely using less CPU. I'm not sure about the quality of the encoding. I hope the video is okay. I also made some changes. I have to change the location of the camera. I hope it's okay. Um, I will try to make to not make any mistakes, like <laughs> leaving uh, one window uh, blocking the the uh, the code when I'm programming, uh, but hopefully, you know, I'm not a professional or YouTuber or whatever, I'm just uh, writing some code, so I may be paying too much attention to the code and not to the windows or what I'm recording. Right, so I think that's enough for today. Um, so on the news side of things, um, what I want to do today is I want to improve a little bit um, the collision detection that I'm using in Starblind, which at the moment it works, it's fine, um, but it has some issues um, that are usually don't, those issues are not usually a problem in other games, but in this game because uh, there is a scroll and let's take a look to the, map, to the map, for example, here. So, not this one, this one. So, you know, the, the map area is larger than what I usually do because it's, if I do flick screen, it's usually one screen, obviously. Um, and you have the entities that you have on that screen. Um, so, that means that we have less entities, but in this case, every single square here is an entity so it means that although I'm already doing some tricks um, if the entity is not visible on the viewport so on the 
section of the map that we're showing on the screen, I kind of don't do a lot of things that I do when they are visible, like for example, checking if it's going to hit uh, the player, right? For example, if it's an enemy or if it's an object, if the object are touching the, the, the player. Um, but uh, especially in this game, there is a problem. You know, it means that I may have a lot of entities. And when, for example, we use the blaster, uh, the bullet has to check if it's touching one of the enemies. And because the bullet can still exist and update when it's not visible on the viewport, I can't really use that trick. So it means that this is not really great. It's not optimal. And also, uh, what we're trying to, what I'm going to try to improve today is in this screen here we have three aliens, and the aliens, these aliens kind of move freely a little bit, uh, and one thing I don't like is that they they can overlap uh, when they're moving and trying to reach the player. So let's close this one and let's take a look to the game and see right. So there you are, that's the game. So see, this is the effect. This is the last thing we did in the last session, right? So let me see. Um, so let's grab a few things. Uh, so for example, here, I mean, I fire the bullet, the bullet disappears, but for a while, even if it's not visible, it's just still doing stuff. So um, because we, I expect to have a lot of entities here, yeah, that's something I want to fix. But in this case, what I want to avoid is that, well, let's see if I can make them overlap so we can see the problem. So here, so right, so right there, let's kill this one. So it looks like one alien, but we know there are two, and I don't really like that. Um, it's not just that it doesn't look nice, um, it's also that, uh, you know, from the point of view of, of the gameplay, I think I like the idea of having a lot of enemies and if they block to each other, you know, it kind of can create an, a little bit of a, a atmosphere, like, um, you know, you're in a corridor, and there are a lot of aliens coming at you and what well, you need to fight fire one but then the blaster has some time to recharge so yeah that could be interesting but if you know if they overlap th that effect is gone so now what I plan to do with this is um, so here well, another thing I have changed, for example, is that I, I have changed how my build system works. So instead of building things in one directory, it's, it's a lot cleaner now anyway. Um, right. So let's take a look to the map because the map code is going to be key. Well, I mean, this is just an idea. So I hope it works, so we don't spend a lot of time looking at this and then, you know, to get to the conclusion that it is just, it's not working. So, right, so here we have, basically, these are the two fun functions I want to change today. One of them is, basically, is map block X and is map block Y. Um, why do we have these two functions uh, instead of having one that it checks is, the, is you know, if one address is blocked? Um, is because in the map, well, I think I explained this in a, in a previous session, the map, the map coordinates, the map is basically <laughs> 16 per 16 pixels. That's one tile in the map. But in the, in this, on the screen, uh, on, on screen coordinates and world coordinates, I think, um, we move, eight pixels, not 16. So it means that when you change, for example, you're moving X because the player or and the enemies, X16 per 16, you have to check 
basically two tiles of a grade so yeah is that correct yeah so we check, check tile one and tile two and tile one is where we are and tile two is the a grade down yeah because i think we expand the map right so it may not be as important that it's 16 plus 16 because when we expand the map so compare the rat, it's one in place. TS is the tile set, we're not doing that at the moment. Right, so yeah, it looks like so so the map uh because we storing we store the map using uh four bits per tile and then we expand the map to use a full byte instead of four bits because it's easier to check things but i think let's look back to the tile yeah the tiles here you can see here the tiles are this is 16 by 16 see here so let's get rid of tile uh, whoop so it's six, it is 16 by 16 so that was correct I don't want <laughs> to make a mess on it again with the units right so we're planning to do what well. anyway so we have two functions one to check when you're moving in the x-axis which is checking two tiles the one that we pointed with x and y and the down below and when you're moving in the y-axis is checking two the one that you're pointing with x and y and the one to the to the right here plus one right and this is also doing some stuff related to the doors so in the tile so this is more efficient because we basically access two tiles and then we can perform a lot of operations here but for example if we look at the the bullet code See, I mean, I already converted this into assembler because otherwise the performance of this operation here will be crap. It will be too slow because you need to get X, Y, compare. So uh, basically uh, bullet versus enemies. So we iterate through all the entities. If it's an enemy and a bullet check is true. So what I do is I, I I compare it's not a bounding box because it's not a box but yeah it's the square containing the entity which is better in a way that doing tiles is because you can adjust here see I mean I add in one pixel here one pixel so you can't reduce the box containing the hitbox well it's hitbox actually it's a hitbox and so we check that so this is quite slow if you have a lot of entities right so this is something i want to fix or i want to improve maybe not today but at least what i want to do is today i think is it would be nice if here these functions because Right, so if T1 and T2 are zero, is zero is, is this tile here. This is zero, which is floor, right? It's not blocked, otherwise it's blocked. As you can see here, the doors are entities. They are no tiles. So uh, the door will change the tile in the map when it's open on or when it's closed to block or not block right so with that that was the basic idea when i implemented this but then it's a little bit more complicated because we check here if the door is closed if the tile is at door closed which is pretty basic you know it's blocked hmm, right no, that's not right. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> if the tile is the door closed in vertical or the door closed in horizontal, plus one, because plus one is the tile of the open door, right? With the door that is open. Yeah, because we're using also the map to draw things. Mm, that's interesting. Mm. That is quite interesting. So we could be using this same idea to draw to draw the enemies. Hmm. Maybe. Right. So yeah. So if the if the if the tile is the door open, then we can continue. Um uh, this is a pointer to the current uh, to the, to the um, entity that may be calling this and this is going to be null which is zero um, when it's the player so if, if it's the player if it's not the player or we don't have keys then it's blocked mm? otherwise if it's a closed door we open the door otherwise you know it's blocked because it means that it's not open door, it's not floor, and it's not uh, a closed door that we open. You know, after we open, you block yourself, so we have time to see the quick, the open animation, and then the next time you try, because the door is already open, you will close the door. Um, so my idea is exploiting this, uh, this thing here. So what if the aliens update the map to set uh, a tile that is no floor hmm? and that would mean that is my block will work for everyone right so in that way the aliens will be solid so an alien won't be able to step over a different alien now the question is if that happens it means that the player won't be a hmm, maybe the player won't be able to touch the aliens because they will be blocked we can change that we can make some similar trick that we did with the door now the next step after we make the aliens solid will be if we can use um, we, if, because we can tell at that point that the, that the tile we're trying to touch is an alien then at that point perhaps is when we should be checking which alien we're touching right so it means that we would use the amount of times that we need to check it. Oh, are we touching this? Uh, the what? Well, I mean, we're talking about the aliens, but this could be used for all the entities. So it's kind of um, rebuilding completely how how my collision detection works, because instead of checking entity by en per entity, you know, all the entities against the, you know, in the case of the bullet, every single bullet has to check for all the entities. Um, instead, the bullet when it's, it's moving around the map is is checking if the map is blocked, right? So we could be returning instead of zero or one, we could be returning the tile itself, and with that tile, we could be telling. Well, I don't know. If, I mean. <sighs> It could be zero one, and then you know you're touching and an, an something that requires you to actually perform the check. I mean, for the regular entities, it doesn't make any difference. But for the aliens, because of the bullets, could be very useful. You know, if the bullet is trying to move into a location that is a wall, then we explode. If we get to a location that is touching an alien then we can find which alien it is because we need to destroy the alien and then you know do the explosion and all of the stuff so that's the next step for today i would like to see to try how it looks when we make um when we make the uh, aliens solid so for that 
because at the moment when we draw the map the map it goes through the map structure here well, that is already an assembly right away so so we go through the map and then we put the super tile and the two super tile is basically is putting the tiles with attributes on our buffer so when we swap it and we show on the screen later basically and this could be a sunder actually hmm, i don't know why i didn't com convert this maybe i looked the code it was not that bad anyway so ba -ba 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 so basically we need a function where we set the map as block right and we can use it really doesn't matter which tile do we use so um so we can say um, we can say um, how do we say that set map tile maybe so um, x um, y and then uh, we can set the tile for example so we can use the same one we don't have anything no <laughs> we don't have anything new with this name already right so this is going to be very simple so w map it's w map because it's a working map so it's the map what i'm working on at the moment so it's basically um so we need to do that then because that's in tiles isn't it so basically is this that we're going to say to the tile right and because remember that we need to set four because uh, x16 prex16 so it's going to be one time more here then da, 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 da. no that's not how it works it should be here one time here i'm using a lot of parentheses because i don't really trust the compiler it's probably unfair so this compiler probably is, is doing the right thing um, but uh, I have bad experiences in the past with um, things not working in the way I expect so I'm going to keep putting parentheses lots of them so I'm completely sure that if there is any weird behavior it's because I made a mistake and not because the compiler is doing some silly business okay so um, can we split this and yeah oh look at this why do i have a putman tile oh don't tell me that excellent so that was this is a little bit silly so there's a putman put map, map tile i can't believe that oh right but this is not exactly what we want is it because this is just setting one oh so right okay so i have this already but this is not this is more like put map right so I could be calling this four times but it will be a little bit more expensive calling it once all right so let's don't let's make it work and then we can think about making it faster later so we have put my tile already so so let's take a no that's not the one anyway uh let's go here uh here 
do 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 do. So put the screen time. This is what we do. What we draw. Interesting. So <laughs> put map tile. And we're going to set one. It really doesn't matter because we're going to override that when we put the screen tile. So we're going to do four. Uh, this is probably, it will be better in a different way. But for now, I just want to validate my idea <laughs> before getting too much work done just to realize that it doesn't work right so we put the map tile when we draw it and no that's not what that's not what we're going to do actually uh, so right so basically we need to um so we need to put the, the the tile of right so let's do a hacky hack which is going to be something like this So let's make something look up here, just to simplify. This is going to be the same. And then we can change that later. Again, I want this to work. Right, so with the map tile, we need to set, right. So the, the alien draw is called after the day. Nice, so. We can just say, ah oh man, this has to be up top here, right? Yeah, because I don't want to put things in the include file uh, for now. So then my tile, and then we're going to set it to block. And when we start updating, we're going to set it to just flop. And see if it compiles. Of course it does, so let's take a look to this. Right, just checking that I'm not blocking anything so you can see what I'm doing. Right, so again, if you're doing testing, you probably want to put things in the same screen so you don't have to go far away for testing, but for now. Right, look at that. It's kind of working, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. Well, we put in. Yeah, well, okay, so I knew that that was going to happen, uh, but I was expecting. Yeah. Well, we can't really do that. Right, so the problem is that, first of all, this is not doing what I was expecting it to do. And. Um, why is not doing that? Not sh completely sure. But what are we going to do here? Is first of all, let's take a look. So, all right, 64, 66. Oh, those are actual tiles in my tile set. So, I need to be careful with that. But because we know we're using a byte, we can just do we can do more stuff so we can use for example we can use for example we can use up, up to a byte so we can say define map tile oh, what was the name I was using on uh, on the doors door tile close yeah let's do the same thing so we can say um enemy tile blocked oh another one 
this one. Uh, and we can say, for example, 128. I don't think I'm using that for anything. <laughs> I am, so I don't know. Uh, wow, no, that's not what we want. We want to search in source dot uh, whatever, maybe. No. Um, C files. Yeah, we're using it, but it does a flag. And see. I think it's fine. It's not that uh, the fine or anything. And uh, do we have any? Yeah, just that one enemy block. So we good. Right. So we're going to use that one enemy tile block. And we are going to do free that we know is going to be zero. Right. So. In the alien, we're going to use enemy tile blocked and do, do, do. no, that's not, it's free. Free and here, what was it? Here. And any tile block. Right. So why are we doing this? Because I want to use this then in the map code. Well, I'm um, this is still a thing here. Um this is not actually drawing in the right place. Uh no, it's not doing the right thing. So put the screen tile. Haha. -ha. Put screen tile is doing some bits. Is doing some adjustment because what is doing that? Where are we using put my tile by the way? Are we using that at all? Yes, of course. The door is using that. So yeah, because the door is using that to set the door open and door close. So door update is using X Y Puma tile. Yes, that's that one looks okay. What the? So that's that's right, isn't it? Put my tile. We're doing the same thing. And we set in the tile, the, you know, close, vertical, close, horizontal. So that is drawing the right thing. We said, oh, no, wait. Right. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Do you remember that, that I said something about 16 by 16? It's going to be that. <sighs> yeah, maybe, maybe I should just look a little bit what I plan to do before starting to talk here. Right. So that. I think we're going to do. I don't know why I always grab the gun. Right. <laughs> Is it still not doing quite what it should? Especially because. What? Enemy tile free, enemy tile blocked. So it doesn't really matter. 
Yes, because this doesn't make any difference, right? I think it doesn't make any difference because basically, let's get the last there. Because, yeah, it doesn't make any difference because what really matters is the order way that we deal with the entities and. Hmm. So I still don't understand. It should be exactly in the same position as the cutter, but it's not true because the map is not taking into account uh, the scroll, right? So, well, but in the door, it's not causing trouble, right? How is the door? Why the door works? So when we in it, well, to start with, the door is not drawing itself. So what if we? <laughs> We can try that maybe. So we can do this. Oh, ah, mm. why not? So what if we let the the map draw the alien like it was a door? Maybe that's <laughs> it's not quite right. Yeah, but it's I mean it's it's actually a clue. And I think it could be actually it kinda of makes sense. We could be doing this. Now why so the door what is the door doing here? Hmm. So the door is just it's not doing anything special. Then it puts the map tile and when we update the door, the only thing it does is updates it updates the map tile. That's looks okay to me. And blah, 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 blah. And the doors are just fine, isn't it? Let's try something. So, door tile, close vertical, door tile. So, that could be the, the alien base tile, right? That could be the alien. So, mm. yeah, right, because it's not defined. But it's okay. We can please have the value. Yeah, it's 101. So, that should draw the alien instead of the door. Right, but this is still the door. So, yeah, I need the key, actually. We have an alien door now. Yeah, but it doesn't work because the map expects... Yeah, but it's doing the right thing. So it's drawing the, the alien correctly. So that's the frame. And we just draw the frame uh, which in this case, I mean, this is just is just selecting which frame we need to draw, but it's exactly the same. Are we managing the doors like any other entity? Could be different. So 
So blah 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 blah. Lot of assembler. The entities is assembler already. We get into this. Yeah, it's just the same. I don't think we do anything. I don't do anything special with the doors. Oh, uh, I see a difference here. So we put the tile. They don't. We don't have to draw. Right. I mean, it's still not sure about. Oh, let's see. Uh, I just got all the things. Silly alien is still not drawing properly. Can we kill it? No, because. <laughs> oh! Did it work? Yes. Looks like it's dead. So I can kill it. Now, look at that. What a mess. No, that is not working. Um, so I'm not completely sure why I have a draw here, which is called an alien draw. And in here, oh, I see, because this is the alien has different update code, right? And so Alien Update has a lot of stuff, so I miss things here. So this is just one when it's following me, but not, I didn't do that in here. So now Alien Update, so we clean the, the map. And I guess we force in a draw here. And uh, it's probably redundant, but... Yeah, because it needs to update the screen. Right, okay. Let's get to the right place. Right, they're moving now. Yeah. But they are not moving the way they should because they are moving. Hey, I can't get through the aliens because they are... It's like a wall now. And I'm dead. Right, so the problem with the map tiles, so if we use the, the map code, it's because the map code is 16 by 16. Hey, hey. but well, at least... <laughs> um, at least the, the, the effect I was looking for is working, so actually I can't kill them because they are a wall now. Ooh, that one died, but he left his blocking body. Yeah, but the enemies don't work over all the enemies. So, I mean, it still don't work. It's still, it's, it is not working, but it's getting close so I guess the problem here is going to be um, we still need to do the drawing I think the put tile free enemy free and so when uh because all right hmm the one that is killing the alien is the bullet so we need we will need to make the bullet aware of this thing it should set the enemy tile free right well, it's getting close um so i so if we put the screen tile uh, what I was expecting now is that it will override. That's why I was not using the, the alien tile. Yeah, it's doing funny business because we can see... Yeah, but uh, that's not right.
that's not right and I think the problem here so I think we can get rid of this and uh, put map tile is actually the one that is wrong Poop, put map tile this this division here is the one is the one that is breaking it I think because it's basically converting that into huh? 16 by 16 what is the size of map mm. so it's 32 per 20 which is 8 per 8 that's correct so why are we doing this do we really need to do this I'm not sure why this is not very scientific as you can see but so the doors are now completely broken so this door should be over here so everything that is relying on that is now all right so what so it's aligned how does it work i don't remember Ah, uh, it's probably because it's not doing this adjustment. Is it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So what if? Yeah. But oh, careful with that. Ah oh, man, we just move everything. Do, 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 a little bit more. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, what is this, this doing? So this is doing the adjustment for the scroll. But if we do this. So we need to do this. No, I can't change this in here. If I change this in here, it's going to break everything that we expect to be aligned. So let's make a different version of this. Let's call it eight. So it's not aligned for example and I get this Ooh, stop that We didn't change anything here. And those aliens, by the way, I'm they're still using the old system, so mm. <laughs> yes, I see. What that's really cool. Invisible aliens. Hmm. Hmm. That's this is not doing what I was the effect I was expecting. So no, this is just not not really. Um, but, 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 but. So what is the one that is doing the offset? So we probably need, I needed to look at the viewport. Oh no, man, this is terrible. Maybe is this? Is this offset the one that makes needs to make the adjustment? Uh, oh, what do you do here? So because that can be zero and one, maybe. I don't remember how the viewport works, so amazing, but 
Yeah, what I'm trying to find is see if I can get the scroll adjustment to make sense. Oh, look at that. Very nice. What? Okay, I know what's going on. Right. No, I don't know what's going on, but it's quite nice. What's going on? Interesting. <laughs> wow, I like it. Right. So I'm not completely sure what I'm doing. I probably need to think about this. So it's been almost one hour already. And I don't know where I'm going, but it's close to do something. I'm not confident about this one. Um, so the idea I had initially uh, is not working either because I'm not setting the tiles. You know, the fact that the map is, is 16 by 16 that is not this is not going to work like that because being 16 by, by 16 when the aliens move 8 by 8 is never gonna going to be aligned so I think I probably need to change how the map works or just not sure if they uh, do a different approach Maybe um, I thought that I could be using I could be using the the map, but I think that perhaps is easier to have a bitmap uh, independently of this, just to check collisions with uh, just to check collisions with enemies maybe because i think it looks like if i reuse too much um, map data it's going to be very difficult to make it work and i might need to re rethink a lot of stuff that is probably not worth it um not sure exactly yeah but the problem we have here is that this is 16 by 16 but the aliens and the X is moving so the closest we got was with uh, when the alien was drawn like this instead of using the screen coordinates this is the closest we can get think with the current map and it means that the aliens move yeah and I can kill it because the bullet thinks is is hitting the wall <laughs> so they move eight break and I'm dead so they move eight break And we don't, sorry, eight by eight. Sixteen by sixteen. And we don't want that. We want them to move eight by eight. Um but the map tiles are sixteen by sixteen. So um I don't think we can use that. We can use the map data to do this. So um, I can have just a big map. Just to do that. Because what it doesn't make sense is to check collisions uh, of the aliens with other aliens. And also, I mean, this is what, we, what I was trying to fix today. I was trying to make so the aliens are solid and they don't, they can't st step over each other. But also, that idea can be used to improve the performance of the bullets. So, mm, if I want to do both things, uh, so let's see what we do today here. So yeah, I mean it's not 
as a quick test it's not too bad uh, but it's not really mm, it's not really solving the problem we have so I think I'm probably going to drop this test yeah yeah because the screen see we put the screen tile we put things on screen yeah I, I thought about that what if we use why it, it would it be possible to uh, so I think that I'm going to to drop this yeah all right uh, so So um, yeah, another option because I, I was willing to use the map data because the map data is kind of, you know, it's map block is already solving the problem. I thought, uh, but you know, it could be this could be also called something different to get that information that we need. So I thought, what about so instead of because at the moment we have drawn this draw the map and then the entities draw themselves in the on the screen which is not the screen it's in the back buffer so can we use the buffer the screen buffer for that uh, probably we can because it would be too expensive um, because the map buffer has at the end what it has it has the address of the tile that it needs to draw yeah, we know what is the address of of the floor, which is free to move, right? But it's a 16-bit number, so checking that is a little bit more expensive than using. Well, I mean, there is a there is an argument in there, um, which is that um, if um, I need to add a bitmap and I need to add a lot of code to just get the same thing maybe checking that 16 bit number is not that bad hmm yeah i need to think about this and see if it's worth doing it like that i mean if we can do it like that another thing i thought is that we could be using the tile attributes but if we look uh, the tiles that I have uh, here um, buh, 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 buh. yeah I mean there are, these are for a four attributes so it would be a little bit messy why is with the tile oh no see it's exactly the same problem now I don't think we can use the the, the buffer window no because uh, in the buffer in the buffer we will have four tiles really so it's four addresses it's not the same thing so the map is useful because it's only one um, if I use a bitmap I will still need to check for four positions but it would be probably uh, I'm not sure. Would it be better than what I what I'm doing at the moment? Well, performance-wise, probably. Uh, but what is hundred percent sure is that I would be able to uh, make the aliens solid, not the way they work at the moment. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so that's probably something to explore in a different time i think so yeah i think this is going to be all for today um which is not very successful but sometimes this is how things go you need to spend some time to be sure that what you're trying to do can be done or maybe not well if the answer is that i can use the map data to improve the collision detection then is time well spent, I think. Um, okay, so 
this is all for today um, hopefully it looks like the new disk works it looks like the webcam works and everything seems to be back to normal so hopefully um, these uh, sessions will be more frequent I, 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 at least I don't expect to be almost one month between sessions anyway um, remember you like you can do a like if you like the video and uh, if, you don't want, if you don't want to miss the next one you can subscribe or whatever so see you next time bye